Hello and welcome to Alkip Tech YouTube channel. Today we are going to uh, remove the back cover on Lenovo V145 15ST and also clean the CPU fan and change the thermal paste. So stay tuned and let's start. So as you can see now, I sorted on my magnetic pad all the screws as in order as they were on the back cover. But on Lenovo laptops, most of the models, they're always the same size. So even, even if you misplace some of them, it will be still fine. Okay, now I'll need to use my prying tool to open the back cover. Sometimes it's good to start from where the hinges are not always, so we'll see where's the best side. Well, still looks like should be here. Okay, that's it. Okay, and probably, okay, here as well. I think we finally got it cracked open. Okay, so, uh, these Lenovo models are pretty much easy for any kind of upgrade. Once you take the back cover off, here's your battery, here's your, here's your SSD drive, Wi-Fi card, RAM, memory, which is very easy to change. And we come to the part that we need to clean. And this is CPU fan and CPU cooler. As you can see, it's not dirty. It's relatively clean, but anyway, we'll do it just to see how it's done. Always good idea to remove the battery. Since the cables on Lenovo batteries are a little bit stiff, it's always good to remove the battery and then remove the screws and then try to push it out a bit. Okay, so it's out. If you want to replace the battery, goes back in. Uh, 
Okay, and what we need at the moment to take it out. That's it. Now, the fan itself and the rest of the CPU cooler are not connected. So first we will remove the Wi-Fi wires and then the screws holding the CPU fan. There is one and that's it. Again, using prying tool to disconnect the fan is always a good thing. That's it. <laughs> we can use a soft brush like this. There was some dust in and If you're using air compressor or even compressed air in spray, like what I do, always try to fix the fan so we don't damage it if the air moves it too fast. Okay, you can do this with a brush, it needs more effort, more time, and it will not give as good results as with compressed air. So this part is done. We have some dust here as well. Again, use compressed air to clean any dirt lying there and it's time to disassemble this cooling plate and the heat pipe and usually we have numbers one two three so this is by a manufacturer in which order we should unscrew the screws now don't unscrew for example number one completely all at once because the plate makes pressure on the CPU so we go a little bit number one we unscrew a little bit number two and then number three so we do that in a way that this plate moves equally away from the CPU okay so here we have it and as you can see, the paste is dry here as well as on the CPU and changing the thermal paste once in a while is always a good idea. The things we need for this job is just a plain toilet paper or some soft tissue surgical spirit and of course we'll need a thermal thermal paste or as they say on this thermal paste thermal grease okay so let's start Okay, so you can see how dry it is, there are bits falling off. Try not to smudge the thermal paste all over the, the cooling plate. Okay, and this is practically it. Now to clean the CPU. You can use something like this. Just be careful.
Again, we need to be careful not to smudge the, the old thermal paste everywhere around the main board especially. If we can clean the, if we can keep the CPU as clean as possible, that's even better. Okay, now we will use compressed air again to remove any bits of our tissue and that's it, thermal paste time. Now, the best way is just to make a small grain of thermal paste in the middle of the CPU now this is more than enough thermal paste on our CPU, you can put even less. And once we assemble heat pipe with this cooling plate, the paste will spread around this square and it will cover the whole surface of the CPU. So there are no any special techniques or ways. This is especially for laptop CPUs which are small just a grain size, very small bit of, of thermal paste in the middle of the CPU and that's a job well done in the end for your laptop. So let's put back the CPU cooler. Tighten the screws and that would be it. Now to put back our CPU fan. There are guides here, so practically you can't make a mistake. Let's put the Wi-Fi card wires back into the place, that's it, and we had only one screw holding the CPU cooler and it was here. Now manufacturer also made sure so you don't make a mistake, here there's X and here there's X, here there's no hole at all, there is here for a screw but this is the screw that comes through a back cover. So X means you shouldn't put screw here from this side, yeah? So that's it. Let's plug back the CPU fan. Again, here there are two guides that show you how the CPU fan connector should go back in. And they are matching two little holes from this side. Okay, that's that. Well, that's it, let's put the battery back inside. With Lenovo batteries, always connect it first, then put the screws, because these cables are quite stiff. So, little triangle here tells us that this is the place where to put the screw. 
here as well. And the last one is here. Okay, let's check again everything. So the wires are in place. Memory is in place. Everything is where it should be. When putting back the back cover, always be sure to align first with the connectors on the motherboard. So from this side, you push it a little bit towards the left. Always double check, for example, for gaps like this one, apply pressure and everything will go back into its place. Let's put the screws back. There was a screw missing here, so I'll try and find a matching screw. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Cheers.